Speaking of the next level, uh, we've got another gentleman. Let's flash over to the other side. We've got another guy getting set up here. Uh, Jack Curtis, the big time uh, defensive end from Highland Park, getting ready to make his call. And uh, a guy who's considering a, a trio of places, Army, Princeton, and Air Force. Uh, and ish, we've been watching film on Jack Curtis. We've been watching him at, 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 for the Scots mm -hmm. for a while. Uh, the word for me on Jack Curtis is motor. Oh, I was literally <laughs> thinking the same thing. Don't oh. you hate when he does that? He just, I know. Just, the, the exa the <laughs> literal, like, I'm going to throw it to you, but I'm going to take your best. <laughs> right, right. Best so anytime, anytime you watch the film on him, anytime you watch him play, once he chooses a direction, mm -hmm. it's like I don't see anybody getting in his way, whether it's a blocker, whether it's a running back attempting to try and slow him down. Um, but no, it's motor. Um, there was one highlight on his film that's one of my favorites. He's on the ground, and he realizes the quarterback's like right near him, and he just like reaches around and just like doesn't stop and just pulls him down with his with by the thigh, basically mm -hmm. with his arm. It's great. Um, he's a very fun player to watch, and we've talked about – Somebody who's used to winning with RJ Maryland. Mm -hmm. I mean, coming from a program like Highland Park, there's no reason not to uh, assume that Jack Curtis is pretty used to that too. Same thing to him. You know, Powers, you and I were talking a little bit before uh, before the show about uh, about Jack Curtis and, and what he brings to the table. And and you had some really high praise for this young man. Yeah, I, I love him. Um, I think that he's a tremendous defensive talent. I think he's one of not only the state's top – you know, you hate to say the word sleeper, but he is a guy who could play for any program in the country, in my opinion. That's just how I've seen it. And one thing that I love about Curtis's game is that we've kind of seen him grow up before our eyes. You know, uh, each year over year, he's continued to get better. And his senior season, he was, you know, really hitting his peak of performance and added some nice pounds to his frame as well. And, and that really showed through on tape to me. His motor runs hot, as you guys uh, mentioned every snap uh, he's he's a guy who takes no plays off and when I talk to college coaches you know there are a lot of the guys out there who have a three minute highlight reel that's pretty good pop in the game tape of Jack <laughs> Curtis his game tape is tremendous and that's what college coaches uh, get paid to evaluate and this is a guy who takes no plays off all right enough of us that's that's enough of us talking let's send it over to Jack Curtis to make his commitment he is standing by with our Mallory Hartley I'm now standing here right next to Jack Curtis, Highland Park defensive end, and, and his family just seconds away from hearing where he's going to spend the next couple of years of his life. Now, Jack, I have to ask you, man, how are you feeling in this moment? Yeah, no, it's definitely, definitely an exciting time. Uh, you know, the recruiting process can be you know, stressful at times, but definitely excited, like RJ said. I don't know if getting over it is the right word, but, you know, just picking a school and, you know, putting my heart and soul into a college football program, you know, fulfilling a lifelong dream of playing college football. Absolutely, it's a very surreal moment. And now, without further ado, floor is yours. Where are you headed? All right. Uh, first, I'd like to thank my parents here, my family, for supporting me every step of the way, and uh, to my coaches at Highland Park. You know, none of this could be possible without y'all. Y'all made me a better person, football player, and man. And uh, to my friends back home as well, hopefully watching this, uh, y'all through every step of the way too. Every fan, teammate, y'all are all awesome. But that being said, for the next four years, I'll be committing. United States Air Force Academy. That's awesome, man. Now, I know you had Princeton on your list as well, so, and you chose Air Force. So what made you want to choose a, a, an Air Force, a Naval Academy over Princeton? Yeah, I think the big part was, uh, you know, they've been invested in me ever since my recruiting process began. You know, one of the, one of the first schools to offer me a full scholarship, but they, they did not stop. You know, they... They let me feel like I was at home, and every time I went up there, it felt like home to me. The coach is there. You know, I bonded with them extremely well, and I just you know, feel like I can become the best football player I can be at the Air Force Academy. And over to you, Mr. Curtis. It's been such a long process. You know, your son's been playing football for so long, and now you're finally sitting here with him on his special day. What does that feel like? It's incredible. Um, I think you know, we've been a part of this journey for the last two-plus years when he really made up his mind he was going to play college football, and we were uh, – you know, convinced he had the talent and the uh, was going to get the attention to, to, to be able to have that opportunity. Um, my goal was just to make sure he was happy and satisfied with his decision. Um, I can't say enough about the staffs at Army uh, and Princeton. They were they were incredible. I know Jack bonded with those guys as well. But uh, you know, Air Force just felt like home, and uh, we're certainly excited to watch him for the next four years. Absolutely. Well, Jack, congratulations, and we wish you the best of luck on your future endeavors. Thank you, Tepper. Back over to you. There it is, Jack Curtis heading to Air Force. Uh, boy, that's uh, 
I mean, we've just spent the last 10 minutes gushing about this kid, and I'll tell you, what a get for Air Force. And Powers, I'll start with you. Uh, this, is, this is a game wrecker that is heading uh, to the Air Force Academy. Hey, guess what? Highland Park uh, has a history of having guys at the next level be successful. Yeah. And especially on the defensive side of the football as well. You know, there's been some great quarterbacks come through there. I think this is, you know, we talked about R.J. Maryland and how he ranked within the hierarchy of the SMU class. I'm going to say this is the best Air Force commitment mm -hmm. on, the, on the commitment list for 2022. This dude is, um, I can't say it enough. I mean, he's been a DCTF uh, top 300 guy wire to wire. He's appeared in all the magazines. He's a guy who we've really been high on for a, a good a good long time now. And you know, they got a they got an absolute steal from Texas high school football. The fact that um, colleges let this guy go out of state, they are going to rue this day. That's just my opinion. Yeah, I, I think that you're exactly right. And and you know, this is this is the kind of the kind of guy that you know ish in a lot of ways a lot of a lot of programs in the state of texas have have kind of made hay with guys like like jack curtis they've mm -hmm. been able to seal the borders and he's that kind of quintessential steal you yeah. know what i mean uh for him to go out of state and head to the air force academy there in colorado um just a, i mean just a fantastic get and as he mentioned you talk about that was those relationships with those coaches yes. he talked about that being the biggest uh, decision in his in his fa uh, factor in his decision uh i mean he, he, i think it goes without saying that that's that getting in on a kid early and sticking with them that's what does the job. I was gonna. I was just gonna say because he mentioned how Air Force was the first one to get on him. They knew what they had potentially in this prospect, and so they were committed early. And it shows. That shows to prospects, right? If you're wanted and you and you kind of see that commitment very early, you're gonna reciprocate that commitment. Also, look at the programs that he that was were attracted to him. We talked about his motor. We talked about his tape. But Air Force, Army, Princeton, those are intangibles, right? Mm -hmm. They want like. They want pedigree. They want leadership. And so I love the fact that they saw a prospect in him and was like, no, this is a guy that fits, right? This is a guy that works for us because those programs are programs that don't just look at the tape. Obviously, Air Force, I believe, went 10-3 and three this year. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Troy Calhoun had one of his best years at Air Force. Um, and so obviously they care about on-the-field product, but they also care about how you represent yourself off the field, which is just as huge when it comes to those schools committing and their recruitment process. By the way, I don't know if people know this, but, but you know, we talked a lot about R.J. Maryland and his bloodlines. He's got uh, Russell Maryland, his father. Uh, Jack Curtis's grandfather is a former Dave Campbell's Texas football cover boy, Donnie Anderson, at Texas <laughs> Tech. So he's got some bloodlines himself there. There you go. Uh, and, and in the end, Powers, I take a look at a guy like Jack Curtis and— if they can, if they can find a way to utilize him in their scheme, which mm -hmm. it sure seems like they can, I mean, he's a guy who is going to wreck shop in the Mountain West. You know, I want to point out before I just dive back into what Curtis can do on the field. How about his brothers that are coming up? You know, they got some good size. To good them, looking kids. I love how they going back here in a couple yeah, of years. I don't. How they I don't know if I love the idea of thinking like a class of twenty twenty nine kid. That, that makes me very. <laughs> I love how they displayed the Air Force shirt underneath of their <laughs> yeah. shirts too. That was a great commitment ceremony. I really enjoyed it. So I just wanted to get, like hit the rewind button <laughs> on what we actually watched and how cool it was. Um, you know, you know, I've covered a lot of top tier college prospects in my day. You know, I've I've seen a lot of them, and he's listed at six foot three, two hundred and thirty pounds, but he comes off as bigger than that. Meet yeah. him in person, he seems, uh, I guess, a term to say is larger than life. When you shake his hands, he has that naturally strong grip, and, and it's just something that it's natural with some guys you know he was born to play this game and mm -hmm. i think that that is something that you can look at and i love what ish said about the schools that were in his finalist you know he has an ivy league academic profile mm -hmm. and you know uh, just checks a, a lot of the boxes um for something that you're wanting not only um in a football player but a student athlete yeah yeah Absolutely. Um, we, of course, congratulate Jack Curtis uh, for com his commitment to Air Force, and we congratulate R.J. Maryland for his commitment uh, to SMU. Uh, big time doings here in the Dave Campbell's Texas Football Studio. A reminder, if you're a prospect and you are interested in committing live here on our air, get in touch with us at texasfootball.com, and let's make it happen. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on texasfootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to texasfootball.com slash subscribe.